Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, in this session we're going to uh, uh, just uh, touch up our um, our login form. This is the one we're using here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a store procedure rather than the uh, straightforward SQL command. Okay, so um, I'm just going to comment out my SQL command here and just give myself a bit of space. Okay, and let's start uh, using a store procedure. Okay, uh, so I'll need a SQL command. Okay, uh, which is here. Okay, uh, CMD. Okay, and this is going to be set to uh, my connection dot uh, create command. Okay, command. Um, uh, I need command text. Uh, okay, uh, so the uh, and command text. So, mistake. Uh, CMD command text okay and uh, again what am I going to call my stored procedure uh, again I can call it anything I'm going to call it uh, login details okay so there, that's the name of the stored procedure and again I need a command type uh, so CMD um, uh, dot command type okay here we are here okay and this will be set to uh, command type dot okay and again we would have seen this in an earlier lesson uh, table direct text but you want a store procedure okay uh, now with the store procedure what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in the two variables okay so the uh, the two variables there are, are text user and text pass. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that now. So uh, CMD. I'm going to use the uh, parameter add with value. Um, PAR parameters dot add with value. Okay, met. Okay, and uh, this method uh, uh, takes the argument. Okay. Uh, Okay, my variable. Uh, what am I going to call the uh, the variable? Okay, uh, text user. Uh, sorry, txt user. Okay, and uh, the value of this will be taken directly from the field, which is uh, txt user. Okay, dot txt dot text okay and the uh, I want the exactly the same for the uh, password uh, so I have a value I'll just copy and paste here so text P A S S okay and that will be taken from the password field uh, or S okay uh, so that looks great okay I think okay yeah uh, no problems there so now let's create the start procedure now remember I mean, I've called it in command text I've uh, called it login details so I'm going to right click and add a new start procedure okay and give it the name login details okay login details okay again I'm just going to take out the comments here because I will I want to pass in uh, two parameters here um, okay so the first one is text user uh, and again it will require the at symbol in front of it uh, so t uh, uh, xt okay uh, user okay and that's uh, an end var char And var char, and we had set it to uh, 50. Okay, and I need a comma here uh, to, because my next uh, uh, parameter, which will be uh, at text pass. Okay, uh, uh, so my mistake there, I had caps lock on. Okay. 
Okay, and now let me just uh, write the statement. Okay, uh, so again, uh, uh, think of our SQL. Okay, we're going to select. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can use all here, all from. Okay, so where am I selecting from? Uh, TBL users. Okay, and uh, what am I selecting? Where the username, okay, so where this username, okay, uh, and you spelled it right, okay, uh, okay, where the username is equal to at text user, okay, because remember the, we've captured the value of text user here. Okay, so uh, at txt uh, -E -E Okay, and uh, should put that in caps. Uh, and D. Actually, just to uh, be aware there, it won't make any difference whether you use caps or, or lowercase in the functionality. Uh, uh, but it is convention that you would use caps uh, for SQL commands. Okay, uh, so and where the user pass, user pass is equal to at uh, txt pass. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so that looks okay. Now uh, let's just test it now. See if we're see if we're there. Okay, I'm just going to close this and save it. Okay, so there's my login details store procedure. Okay, and again, it's being called here in command dot command text, and the type will be store procedure because, as you can see here, here's the two values being passed again, being collected uh, from the form. Okay, collected here by the the form. Okay, and uh, as a variable here. Okay, we execute the reader, gets it the string. Okay, so it should do exactly the same as the, the login there would do. So let's just run this. Okay, bring this over. Okay, and ADMYM and PASS. Okay, login, and there you can see it just works as expected. Okay, uh, that's the first we've done on the stored procedures. Uh, uh, of course, we'll be doing a few more. So. Um, uh, again, uh, one of the great things about stored procedures is it kind of keeps the code really tidy. Um, uh, we can have a number of stored procedures, plus we can put a, a lot of code into the actual stored procedure itself. Okay, thank you for your attention.